Just got urgent news from the Washington Post. I have this urgent news right here, my formerly nicotine stained fingers, because I just printed it out. Urgent, breaking news from the Washington Post. You will no longer be able to watch the baby panda at the zoo online if the government shuts down. Right there it is. There's the headline right there. There's a picture of the panda. I'm showing it there. Urgent news. Washington Post. Next thing you know, we're going to hear that they're going to close the sleigh ride concession. Jellystone National Park. And you, uh, I know there's no snow yet, but there will be soon, and there won't be any sleigh rides. They're going to be a repeat. Can't watch the panda video. So what, what do we conclude? Republicans hate animals. And Republicans hate the zoo. And they don't want young kids to be able to watch nature. Next, we'll hear that the school lunch program is being cut, shut down because of this. Just a repeat, it's a rehash of everything that's happened and been said before. The AP story on this is journalistic malpractice. Let me see if I even bother to print that out. I, I think I'm, yep. The AP story on this is, and you got to figure now, I don't know how many people read newspapers, but I know that a lot of people get their news online now at, at places like Yahoo or Twitter or whatever, and people get their news from AP. Much as you might wish it weren't so, AP is published in over four or 5,000 different places every day. And it's basically a press release from the Democrat Party on this whole thing. And they've got, they have a story. It's by a guy named Andrew Taylor. And it starts out with the government teetering on the brink of partial shutdown. Congressional Republicans vowed Sunday to keep using an otherwise routine federal funding bill to try to attack the president's health care law. So... The opening line, teetering on the brink. Uh, We're almost ready to go over the cliff. Do you know that? We're almost ready. This whole government is about to just be brought up short because these Republicans, this story goes on to say that Republicans don't want people to have health care. That they dislike the president so much that they don't want people to have health care. And the Republicans don't know what to do to to fight back against any of this. It's just flat-out journalistic malpractice. There is no pretense. There is not even, there's not even a, a, an objective pretense here to, to uh, portray the Republican position on this anywhere near accurately. It is a multiple hundred-word hit piece. You won't read the kind of stuff from the AP about the Iranians or the Syrians that you read about the Republicans in the Associated Press or anywhere in the uh, drive-by media. It it really is an outrage, but it's going to be seen. Countless impressions all over the place. Anyway, I love it.